Hello viewers, thank you for joining MDG's coaching of commerce. We will do today one question based on annuity factor. It is a new type of problem. The question is given, KT company purchased a truck on 1-1-2010 on her purchase system. Rupees 20,000 was paid on signing the agreement, we know this is down payment. Thereafter, rupees 30,000 was paid annually for 3 years, which is included interest charged at 5% per annum. The rate of depreciation is given here 20%. And one very important thing which is new for this question is given here, given that the present value of an annuity of rupee 1 at 5% per annum for 3 years is 2.7232. Calculate cash price and give the important ledger accounts in the books of KT company. Now I wrote here the gist on 1-1-2010 the motor truck was purchased at, and the down payment paid to be 20,000. Afterwards three installments, each installment of rupees 30,000. By that day total payment we can calculate but cash price you can't. And if you can't calculate cash price then interest for uh, for the specific years, first year, second year and third year is not possible to calculate. That is why this factor is given. Annuity of rupee 1 at 5% per annum for 3 years, rupees 2.7232. Now we need to understand what is it. It is to be discussed in this way. This is actually present value. This is present value. What does it mean? It means if you want to repay this much 2.7232 in 3 years at 5% rate of interest, then every year you will have to pay 1 rupee. If you want to repay this much in coming 3 years at 5% rate of interest, then every year you have to pay rupee 1 each. If you pay every year rupee 1 each, you are paying total rupees 3. By paying rupees 3, you are repaying rupees 2.7232. Difference is for interest you are paying. You are paying 3 for this amount, means you are paying more, and the excess amount you are paying for the interest. Now, on the basis of this thing, we have to calculate the cash price. When we calculate the cash price, then we know cash price is calculated in this way. Cash price, down payment, outer down payment is given 20,000. Plus, we know add principal amount of installments. This principal amount of installments will come from that. Now I said that if you want to repay this one, this is present value, means today's value. If you want to repay this one at 5% rate of interest, then every year you have to pay rupee 1 for 3 years. The rupees 3 is installment along with interest. And the present value of that rupees 3 is 2.7232. It means if you want to Calculate the present value of all the installments. It is to be calculated in this way only. Rupees 30,000, it is payment in each year into the present value factor 2.7232. And by that way, you can get an amount of rupees 81,696. 81,696. And your total value came out or cash price you can say cash price one lakh one thousand six hundred and ninety-six. This annuity factor is given, or you may say present value factor. If you multiply this present value factor with the installment, each installment, then you'll get the principal amount of the installment. All the installments principal amount will come together only. Then down payment plus 
principal amount of all the installments at will get cash price. Therefore, you need to remember if this annuity factor is given, then installment is to be multiplied by that annuity factor, then you will get present value. Or you may get principal amount of the installments. And down payment plus principal amount of the installments, if you add together, then you will get cash price. This is your cash price. This amount is your cash price. If it is so, we can prepare the account, KT company. You can simply write KT company instead of in the books of KT company. The name of the buyer is not given, that's so why you can write higher vendor account. The motor truck was purchased on 1-1-2010, we write 1-1-2010 by truck account and it is purchased at 1 lakh 1,696 and then their down payment is made on 1-1-2010 to bank account down payment 20,000. On 31-12-2010 by interest, interest is to be calculated on the outstanding balance. How to calculate outstanding balance? The purchase price is 1,1696. Then and there out of that 20,000 is paid. On the remaining balance, you will have to calculate at the rate of 5%. And that 5% is coming. 4085. Then on 31-12-2010, we have to pay the first installment to bank account. First installment paid. This is 30,000 and the remaining is balance CD. Total is 1 lakh 5,781. Then remaining amount is 55,781. That will be the opening balance in the year 1 1 2011. By balance BD 55,781 on the closing date means 31 12 2011 by interest account. Don't forget the outstanding balance is opening balance only. This is the amount outstanding, that is why you have to calculate interest on that. 55,781 into 5%, the amount is coming to 789. Amount is coming to 789. Then we have to pay the second installment, that is to be paid on 31, 12, 2011. To bank account, second installment, second installment is same only 30,000. You have to calculate the balance, total is 58,570. Balance CD twenty eight five seventy that is to be taken as opening balance one one two thousand and twelve by 
balance BD twenty eight five seventy thirty one twelve two thousand and twelve by interest account. In that year, interest is coming. Uh, we don't need to calculate that interest in this case because this is the last year. Difference is to be paid installment. We know the total amount of installment is thirty thousand. That is to be paid. But the amount due is twenty thousand five seventy. Therefore, the remaining amount one four three zero will be the interest. In this case, you don't need to calculate. Only the difference will be the interest because this is the last year. Thirty one twelve two thousand and twelve to bank account. Third installment. We know third installment is given thirty thousand. You can reduce or increase the money. That is why to pay this thirty thousand, you have your interest should be one thousand four hundred and thirty. This is the difference. In the last year only, our year thirty is the last year. That's why in the last year only, interest can be taken as balancing figure. Okay, now we'll have to do the other account before going to the other account. Just see in have another account. We purchase the truck at rupees one lakh one thousand six hundred ninety six. Then and there down payment twenty thousand. We calculated interest one lakh one thousand six ninety six minus twenty thousand into five percent. Four zero eight five. First installment we paid on the last date of two thousand and ten thirty one twelve two thousand ten thirty thousand. Balance it is coming fifty five thousand seven eighty one. Is taken as opening balance. Again, calculated interest on that only. Pay the second installment. Remaining amount is twenty eight thousand five seventy. Last year twenty eight thousand five seventy, and we are paying installment thirty thousand. The difference is to be taken as interest. In this case, we don't need to calculate the interest separately. It will be taken as balance in favor. Now we are going to the second one, second account. That is truck account. Truck account. In this truck account, first it is purchased on one one two thousand ten. From this is purchased by KT company from Have Vendor. Then we have to write to Have Vendor account to Have Vendor's account. This is purchased at rupees one lakh one thousand six hundred ninety six. One lakh one thousand six hundred and ninety-six on thirty-one twelve two thousand and ten depreciation by depreciation account. Depreciation is given twenty percent per annum, and it is given under reducing balance method. The reducing balance method means that depreciation is always to be calculated on opening value. Opening value is one lakh one thousand six hundred and ninety six into twenty percent, and it is coming twenty thousand three hundred thirty nine. On that date, we have to do balance CD, closing balance, and that balance is coming as eighty one thousand three hundred fifty seven. We know the balance is the difference. One lakh one thousand six hundred and ninety-six is the total. One lakh one thousand six hundred and ninety-six. The balance is on the closing date. On one one two thousand eleven. To balance BD eighty one thousand three hundred and fifty-seven. On thirty one twelve. 2011. Again, you have to charge depreciation by depreciation. It is 81,357 into 20 percent, and it is coming 16,217.
closing balance 81,357 is the total balance. It is coming 65,086. Eighty one three hundred and fifty seven is the total, and that is to be taken on one one two thousand and twelve to balance BD. The balance BD is coming sixty five thousand eighty six. Thirty one twelve two thousand and one. By depreciation, is to be calculated on sixty five thousand eighty six into twenty percent, and it is coming thirteen thousand seventeen. Sixty five thousand. 86 is the total balance. Now we have to calculate by balance city and it is coming 52,069. This you know, this account is easy only. The closing balance is to be taken as the opening balance on 1 1 2013 to balance. BD fifty two thousand sixty-nine. These two accounts are very important, that's why I have done these two accounts. And the second one is easy only. First, you write at what price you purchased after that church depreciation for the first year, balance will be the remaining amount will be your balance series. That balance series is to be taken as balance BD in the next year. Depreciation for that year. On the diminishing balance whether it is given, that's why the depreciation is to be calculated on the opening balance and you will get your closing balance. That closing balance is to be taken as opening balance in the next year, May 2012. 2012, again you calculate depreciation at the rate of 20% on the opening balance. The remaining is your closing balance for the year 2012 to be taken as opening balance of, on 1-1-2013. I think you understood this question. This question is a very uh, different type because of this thing, the annuity factor. So many questions you will get in a book. You try to do these problems by yourself. Whenever there will be any problem, you can see this video. I think you will get the help from this. After that also, if there will be any problem, then you can contact directly to me through my email. Or you can put your queries, your doubts in the comment and subscribe this channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for getting that notification. Whenever any class will be launched, then and there you will get the notification for that. Thank you very much.